you guys think about the NBA Finals so far? Oh man, uh, it's it's crazy because like now LeBron's down uh, three games again. Last time that happened, he was swept by San Antonio. So uh, you believe you believe they're gonna he's gonna lose against Golden State? Uh, well, by the time so. by the time our viewers watch this, the series might be over. So. You take you take out as much stuff as you can. Like, you know, this is, you go all out whatever you think about the series so far because this might be over. So. Yeah, it might be over. <laughs> but like, honestly, what do, you guys th- what do you guys think about the series so far? Who's been, who's your outstanding performer? Like, well, Kevin Durant has been playing very well. I guess what I've seen so far from the whole series in general was um, it was, you know, coming up from Game 7 lost. I think they knew right away that they, um, just the way, their team is made up right now. They knew that um, they knew that Cleveland was going to be built exactly the same coming in to the next season when they lost Game Seven. They knew that they needed to do something different because the way they play right now is great. They could have won that series if it wasn't for a couple of you know mishaps that happened in Draymond Green suspension injury. Right, Curry wasn't fully um, wasn't healthy. Iguodala wasn't healthy. Draymond got that suspension, and Bogan was injured as well. So a lot of things could have happened differently. And this was their chance to make it right. And when they got Durant, they just added a whole new different level kind of, you know. Un- now, I, I wouldn't call it unfairness because we have to give props to, to the Warriors organization, the franchise in general. They weren't able to sign a player like that unless they made really smart moves in terms of signing players. Mm-hmm. And they were lucky that they were able to sign Curry at a very cheap price, $44 million. Right? He, de- he deserves more. He, he deserves more, but... When they signed him, he was coming. He he was coming through his very serious injury, uh, ankle injury that people thought was going to hinder him for the rest of his career. But he got he just went from that player that was injury prone to an MVP caliber player. So it was it just kind of fell through that they made really good, um, they made really good signings. They yeah. made they were really good with their money, and it paid off because you a, a team like that seven three win team can't sign a player like Durant unless they made really good financial decisions with, you know, with the team. So coming through that, it just kind of paid off in the sense that here they are, this is what they paid him to do, Durant, and he's come through every single game. He either made big plays or he just out, he outplayed right. every, single, every single Golden State player he outplayed. Yeah. He was the best player in almost every single game. So yeah, Kevin Durant's been playing so well, but like, what about Cleveland? Cleveland... Yeah, what's what's happening with them, man? LeBron James is trying to carry the load. Their bench hasn't been playing very well. What what do you think about the Cleveland team so far? Yeah, first of all, uh, their bench uh, they're not playing as well that like they should have right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tristan Thompson's um, you know getting paid so much, but he's struggling a lot. Uh, J.R. Smith. You call it what, the shots. Khloe Kardashian effect? Khloe <laughs> the Kardashian, Kardashian effect. effect. Yeah. <laughs> Off camera, we're talking about it. Can you explain to the viewers what, what you yeah, mean about so, that. Um, I mean, pretty much like any any um, any one of the Kardashian sister dates. <laughs> it's right? like a virus. So you just yeah, come see you. Yeah, just... they, they end up struggling in their, their field, you know, uh, yeah. Kanye. And, but and yeah, like. <laughs> speaking, speaking of the bench, because Cleveland's bench, that's what, what the Cleveland team needs. Like their bench has been struggling so far. In the past three games, so maybe it's going to be done by now. But I, f- I feel like the bench should have came out strong. And with Darren Williams, uh, J.R. Smith, Iman Shumper, Cal Corver coming off the bench, or I mean, J.R. Smith starting, but we haven't seen they're him, all role players. But we haven't so seen them play very it, well. The role players, I, I feel like, yeah, like I think you kind of make a good sense, uh, make a good point in that the role players are not stepping up the way the Warriors' role players are. Well. Their main, it's just that the Warriors' main stars are yeah. playing at such an elite level that even though the role players has been okay, like, you, you know, Iguodala's been great defensively, but the rest of the Warriors have been just okay. Like, Ian Clark has been decent. David West has been decent. Like The rookie Williams, as well. Uh, Patrick McCaws, they've been decent, but they're <laughs> not, like, they're not standing out like, you know, like they should be. But then they're doing just the little bits of pieces that they need to basically sustain a lead if uh, like Durant or Curry or Thompson or Draymond are sitting up. They're, they're playing well enough to sustain a lead or to keep it, right? To keep the Cavs from making a good run, which is, right. you know, what they're supposed to do. But the Cavs role players are not doing that. They're not, not anywhere close to what, you know, they should be doing or getting paid to do, right? So what do you think? 
Yeah, I think they just got to play better. You know, um, right now they're down three. They just got to take it, you know, one game at a time. Just like they did last year when they were down 3-1. You know, they didn't really think um, how many games they were down. They just uh, thought of like, you know, we got to win next game and then follow up with the next one. But uh, the role players got to play much better if they want to win the championship. Uh, you know, uh, Jared Smith tweeted. Yeah, you were uh, still talking about that, yeah. You know, uh, what did he say? Uh, game seven? seven? Game seven it is. <laughs> we're uh, we're well, supposed we'll to bring it up. But yeah, <laughs> you know. but he said he was supposed to be hacked. He, someone hacked his Twitter account and said, tweeted out, game seven it is. Everyone blew up, everyone caught it. So it's still, it's still there in the internet webs, but... By the time he watches, maybe it's over. Maybe Cleveland has uh, won one game and they made a 3-1 series. Who knows? Cleveland Cavaliers might be able to reverse sweep the Golden State Warriors or Golden State will close it out in game or sweep them or even meet them in game six or seven. If it goes six, I would be If it goes six.